Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lorna. I am back with a new video today. I am going to do a review of the Dyson Corral hair straightener. This is $500, which is crazy. Like $500 for a hair straightener. I was thinking it's not really going to do much. It's just going to straighten your hair and then, you know, also curl it. But is it going to be better than like a regular hair straightener I have been using the dry bar hair straightener for a really long time I've had this old version of the hair straightener from dry bar for about five years now and it still works it's perfect now that I have the hair straightener I want to see if it's gonna live up to the hype so I'm gonna try it today I just blew out my hair using the Dyson air off of course and um, I'm gonna straighten my hair and see pretty much how how it works and give you my honest honest review but before we get into the video if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing right now you'd be really helping my channel out I feel like I want to try the dry bar on this side and then the Dyson straightener on this side just to kind of get a comparison so if you don't already know the Dyson straightener comes with this charging dock which looks like this so it goes on like that and then the hair straightener will charge from this little part in here. It's like a little magnet too. And it charges just like that. And you can put it on, you know, your vanity or on your desk or wherever you do your hair in your bathroom. So they say you get 30 minutes of cordless styling. And I feel like that could be enough time to straighten all my hair in 30 minutes because I've already washed, blow dried my hair. And it's pretty much only needing to be like, straightened straightened i'm turning it on you can see it's fully charged right now on this little screen and then it has these arrows that go up and down this is for the heat setting and i'm gonna put it to so you have three temperatures 330 365 and 410 i'm gonna start at 365 because i don't want to fry my hair i'm really scared this just dinged. It said it's heated to 365, so I know it's at 365. Now, I normally take large sections when I'm straightening my hair, but I feel like you're supposed to take little sections when you're straightening your hair with this Dyson straightener. So I'm gonna just take this much hair. And then I'm hoping it's gonna work because I've wanted this for ages and it's $500 and I'm like, okay, so I have really high expectations. I'm just hoping it's gonna work, okay, here we go. Okay. Wow, okay, that's straight. That is straight compared to the other side. Okay, let me see, let me try. Next part. I feel like because I already blew out my hair that it helps glide through the hair better than if you didn't blow your hair out. Oh wow, okay. <gasps> oh wow, it's so silky. Can you see that? I watched a lot of reviews on this straightener and a lot of people were saying that when they pass it through the hair it's like pulling at it and it feels like it's gonna crack the hair or break off I I feel like blowing out your hair and then straightening it is actually helping you a lot because I really thought it wasn't gonna work I really thought that it was gonna be terrible and that Dyson was just lying to me and making me think that this $500 hair straightener was the best thing ever but it wasn't but from what I see right now this looks like so silky and amazing I'm in shock my hair has never been this straight but I'm gonna continue on so I'm gonna try the dry bar on this side
Okay. I mean, kind of the same, right? I don't know. So like that's a few passes, but you see how straight this is? It really made it smooth. This is still like puffing out. Honestly, I really thought I was gonna hate it, but I, I really like it. Do you see this? My hair is never like this. Like if you watch my other videos, you'll see that my hair is never straight. It's never nice. Like it's always frizzy and bushy. So can you see already that this side, I feel like it's not straightening it as sleek as the side with the Dyson. I'm going to straighten the side before this dies. Ah! It's dying. So it was at 365. It's now buzzing to tell me, or beeping, making that noise, to tell me that it's dying and that the heat is being reduced to 330. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so now I have to go charge it before I can do the rest of my hair. So I'll be back. Okay, so it's now charging. Um, I had to turn it off and then put it on the dock for it to charge. Otherwise it wouldn't let me charge it. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. So apparently it takes 70 minutes for it to fully charge and you're supposed to use it when it's fully, fully charged to get the optimum heat distributed throughout, through the, throughout the straightener. Um, so that has me a little stressed. Like you're rushing to do your hair and then it dies and then you have to leave it charged for 70 minutes and then continue on with your hair. I don't know. So maybe you should have a hair straightener on standby just in case the Dyson dies. Does that make any sense? So I'm going to straighten this part, the front part. And I mean, this is perfect. Like it just glides through the hair and it just straightens your hair. You know what I mean? That's all we want really, isn't it? So I've straightened this side, but I'm going to have to wait for the straightener to charge. It's going to take about 70 minutes. And then I'm going to be able to finish this side and give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to continue to straighten this side of my hair. If you guys are from New York City, let me know in the comments below. I mean, you don't, I mean, you don't have to be from New York City. You can be from anywhere. Just let me know where you guys are from. Okay, my hair is straightened. Um, I feel so weird because I never have my hair straightened. I just feel so weird with like straight straight hair um but this is what this looks like so this side is with the dry bar and this side is with the Dyson Corral straightener I feel like both sides look exactly the same is the Corral straightener worth $500 when I straighten my hair with the dry bar on this side and it looks like this. I was rooting more towards the dry bar side because it is $170 compared to $500. Um, but I feel like they really both look the same. But please let me know. The plates on the straightener are not rounded. They're like square. Compared to the dry bar, it has like a rounded edge. You see? So when you're trying to do the curls, it's giving you that like line. Oh no, that's so sad. That's so sad. So you really can't do nice curls with it unless you like really do it quickly like this. No, see how it's still giving me the line? Oh no! I would curl my all my hair with like this, but I don't love these types of curls. I prefer the curls that I get with the Dyson Airwrap. It is kind of pulling my hair a lot compared to the, um, look, you can still get the crimp. But the curls are way nicer on this side. I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of the Dyson. So 
A pro would be it does straighten there. It straightens it. I think it does work best if you wash your hair freshly and blow it out straight away and then use the straightener. I think you get the best um, result. I think it glides through the hair a lot better when it is blown out. And I actually love the way it straightens the hair. Um, the bad part is that I don't love how it curled my hair. Um, it could be me though. I probably need to play around a bit more with it and see if I can curl it nicely with the with the Dyson. As we all saw from the video, it only lasts about 30 minutes. So you were then going to have to put it back on the charging dock and charge it again. You can, as an alternative, use the wire and continue to curl and straighten your hair that way but that really defeats the purpose of having it cordless and i feel like that's um, a big selling point on it for most people is that it is cordless and that you can take it with you anywhere oh another thing it's really heavy compared to the dry bar this is super light so guys that's it for my video today it was a long one because the straightener died my battery died oh it's just like awful but we got through it i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys thought about it if you do like the dyson corral straightener please comment below let me know what you guys think um is it worth the 500 dollars in your opinion after watching this video I'm still on the fence. I feel like it's not worth it, but you know, I'll stick to my Dyson air wrap. Um, but please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.